What's good, everybody? I hope everybody's having a great week so far. I wanted to come and pull some cards for you guys just to get an energy check on you guys, see how you guys are holding up, yeah, and see if there's any advice that you guys can use. And, yeah, let's see what comes through. All right, guys. Let's focus on, uh, should we do love? Should we do work? What should we do? Let's see, what messages want to come through? Dealing with some stuff. Disappointing financial struggles that you might be going through. Let's see what's coming through. Got the King of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. And we got the Nine of Wands at the bottom. So, um, deciding whether or not to walk away, trying to, yeah, you're trying to see, should I make the decision to walk away? You're trying to figure it out, but you're having a hard time. You need to know the truth. You need clarity about the situation. All right, let's get some clarity then. We're going to look into this truth. Well, you know what? Let's look into the Seven of Swords. What is the sneakiness going on? What is it that is... Um... Well, let's see what, what the, the Seven of Swords is. What's the Seven of Swords? What's the Seven of Swords? Seven of Swords. It's the Seven of Swords. Yes. An ending. Somebody's trying to figure out. So, oh, you're trying to figure out how to end it with this Empress. Okay. So it could be, so you're strategizing how to walk away, how to speak this truth. What is the truth about it? That they're heartbroken. They're heartbroken and they want to move away, but they understand that this is going to cause some like upheaval in, in their life and they want to try and keep it as peaceful and as you know harmonious as possible this is for but we got the magician the devil and the ace of wands so it could be talking about um wanting to start a new beginning but maybe going about it in a not so good way and doing this kind of work is just going to end up in a situation where you're feeling um unsatisfied and it's going to end even though you you thought it was going to bring you happiness Okay, so what's the advice for this group? What's the advice for this group? Get a different perspective. Get a different perspective of what it is that you need to feel happy in your in your family life. Because if not, um, or not because if you, also what it is, get a different perspective on what it is that you want when it comes to family um, needing to understand what it is that you want so that way you're not in a situation where you're leave, you're left feeling alone and isolated you want you want to bring the will you want the will of fortune to to turn in your favor right so what's the advice to do that if you're in a relationship with someone at work that you work with 
it's saying that that's probably not a situation that you should keep. It should, it, you may need to get, I won't say it like that, get rid of it, but it's not serving you. It's not serving you um, in getting your happiness. This relationship that you, this this partnership is actually a third party situation. So there could be another person involved and that's causing some conflict and it's keeping you stressed out. <coughs> You're having some anxiety over it. What's the advice? Get out of it because Oof. This queen of pentacles, if it's somebody that you work with, could be stealing from you. And it's going to leave you in a place where you're not sure how to get out of this financial struggle. So it's going to require some strength for you to walk away. And do it quietly. It's almost like you need to tiptoe away from away from the situation quietly. Don't make a big ruckus. Don't just be as peaceful and as balanced as you possibly can. Because if not, when you move away, because if not, it's going to cause some, some, um, turmoil. Well, I guess it's always going to have, there's always going to be some turmoil when walking away from a, a situation that you've been involved in for a while. But it's important for you to stay balanced in, in this situation, even if the other person might not be. You need to stay balanced, okay? Come, come at it slowly from a, from a very loving place. You don't want to come at it um, sharp with sharp words and aggressiveness, okay? You don't want to do that. Use your intuition because there are going to be people that are going to be sneaky and trying to do shit that you know do things against you yeah they might want to come in it could be the other person that's coming in with that sharp tongue and very reckless while you're you're being you're trying to be <laughs> it's like you're coming at them with love and, and and warmth and they're coming at you with harsh words and coldness right so what's your advice if they come at you like that Stay strong. Stay strong. You might want to come at them and, and, you know, put them in their place. But judgment's going to be called in the. It's it's going to be called and 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 when the divine calls judgment, it's just. So make sure that you're on the right side of of that judgment that's being called. Okay, don't you don't want to. It could be also an. Another, the person that you're trying to get away from could be doing this work on you. Trying to see, seem like they're very caring. Be careful with gifts that people may give you. Um, not everybody should, you shouldn't accept gifts from everybody. Because they could be, there could be something attached to the gift. It could be money. It could be be anything it could be jewelry it could be clothes it could be anything so be very careful who you accept gifts from um, it could be in, in a sense it could be trying to bind themselves to you anything else that this group should need to know needs to know
when you start clearing out all the stuff that you know that you shouldn't be messing around with, you know, doing the things you you know you shouldn't be doing, um, so you're like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna start um, walking the righteous path, right? And then when you start walking the righteous path, uh, bad things start to happen. You're like, my I lose my job, I lost my person. Um, my car breaks down or whatever it may be, you know, um, when it seems like when you start to try to get it together and start to walk, a, you know, a more righteous path, um, things just kind of, it seems like life just, you know, kicks you when you're, when you're trying to do better. And, and it might feel like that. You're like, okay, I don't want to mess around in this third-party situation, so I'm gonna get out of it. And then the the if if um, let's say your 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 wife or your husband didn't know that that's what was going on, you're like, okay, I'm gonna be honest. And then you're honest, and then you lose your person. You know, trying to trying to do the right thing, but the truth is, um, sometimes. The separation needs to happen so you guys can heal separately. Um, not always, it's not always a good idea to try and heal these things together. Um, so there may be a need for some separation. If, if you're the one who's trying to come clean and right the things that you felt like you've done wrong, um, just be prepared for... You know, everything we do has consequences, even if the intentions were good, or, and I'm not saying these intentions were good, you were, you know, obviously knew that stepping out on a relationship is, you know, not really acceptable, um, if that's the agreement that you made, right, if that's the agreement, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna be monogamous, but then you're, you're like, you know what, I don't really don't want to do that, I'm just gonna go off and do my own thing, you know, I'm going to give this one to everybody, um, you didn't, it wasn't that you didn't know what you were doing, you knew what you were doing, you just didn't realize that you, you know, you were going to get caught, <laughs> or it, that it was going to get you to a, a, a position in your life where you're just like, oh shit, now I, now I got myself into this, I don't know how to get myself out, and it's causing a tower moment in your in your relationship somebody was being sneaky all right well what's your advice let's see if we can get you some advice sorry this kind of kind of felt like this one was all over the place hold strong speak your truth cut out what doesn't serve you It doesn't serve you. Balance your... There's a need for you to, to learn how to balance your emotions. To have the happy life that you want. You need to balance your emotions because if you don't, there's always going to be sneakiness going on in that relationship. Okay? Okay. All right, guys. Well, I hope this one helped. Um, and, yeah. I hope you got something out of this. I know, like, it was all over the place, but I hope it helped in some way, shape, or form. All right? 